let me share something with you. I recently went to a multiplex in America to see Hall Pass. Now, I know what you're thinking. The worst of all possible experiences. Well, here's how it actually played out. I was in New Orleans, and I had to see Hall Pass to review it on the radio, and I'd missed the British screening, but I knew that it had opened in America. So, 10.30 at night, on a weekday evening, I got a taxi, 20 minutes in a taxi, to take me to see a screening of Hall Pass. The taxi pulls up outside this massive building. It's clearly a shopping mall. I said to the taxi driver, what, is the cinema in the shopping mall? He said, no, the shopping mall is the cinema. It's 18 screens. It's gargantuan. It is my multiplex nightmare made flesh. I buy my ticket. I buy myself a drink. Whole thing comes to $10. Now, in English money, that's around seven pounds, seven pound fifty. So already I'm thinking, well, maybe not so bad. I don't know what last time you bought a cinema ticket, but you wouldn't have got a seat for less than nine pounds. Then I go into the cinema. It's an R-rated film, a bawdy comedy from the Farrelly brothers. Now in America, you can bring kids into R-rated movies if they're with their parents. It's a disaster. And indeed, there are kids there ready to watch a film which is completely inappropriate. And I sit back thinking this is going to be awful. Then we get a couple of trailers and then some warnings start. Don't talk. Don't use your mobile phone. Don't make loud scrunching noises with your popcorn. Then, as the lights go down for the main feature, somebody appears in the aisle. I wonder, who is that? Looks familiar. I know, it's an usher. I haven't seen an usher in a cinema since the 1970s. And you know what? They're doing their job. If someone starts talking, they tell them to ush. The strangest of all things has happened. It used to be the case that in American cinemas, you couldn't hear the dialogue for people talking to the screen. I remember the first time I ever saw a movie in a public cinema in America being shocked by the amount of talking, coming back to England and saying, blimey, Americans don't know how to behave in cinemas. The last time I saw a film in a British cinema, it was talking, talking, mobile phones, popcorn scrunching, getting up, shrieking, st stuff going on all around me. And there I am at 10.30, on a weekday evening, watching a crap movie by the Farrelly brothers with a totally inappropriate audience, and everyone is behaving themselves really well. People we have passed through the looking glass, the Americans, now know how to behave themselves in cinemas better than we do. If that is not an indictment of the way things are in UK cinemas now, I don't know what is. As far as Hall Pass is concerned, the movie sucked, but the film was great. <laughs>